If you're playing with a soloist, a singer, or in a group when you're not playing the melody, it's likely that you're going to need to know the harmony of the tune so you can accompany or what we call comp. This means that you're simply playing the chords throughout the tune and you're supporting the soloist or whoever's playing the melody. So to do this, it's really important that you have a really solid understanding of the harmony and the chord structure of a song. So let's take a look at how the chord structure of All of Me works. The chords are mostly derived from the key of C major. The exceptions to this are when we use a dominant chord to tonicize the chord that comes after it. Such as when I play an E7, this is tonicizing the A, because E is the dominant chord of the key of A major. Essentially this is making us feel as if the chord following the dominant chord is always going to be a tonic chord. The first chord we have in the tune is a C major. This is the tonic chord and we're going to play this on the 3rd fret. Note that this is not a major 7, but just a straight triad. The second chord will be an E7, which we'll play on the 7th fret. We'll be using our dominant 7th shape of the A string. The E chord in the key of C major would usually be an E minor, but in this tune it becomes a dominant chord, which means it tonicizes the next chord which is going to be an A7, which we'll play on the 5th fret, using our dominant shape of the E string. You may have noticed that we've done the same thing to this chord as we did with the E7. Usually in the key of C, C major, the A would be a minor. But we're making it a dominant chord so that it resolves to the next chord, which is D minor. Which we will also play on the fifth fret. We call this consecutive dominance. One leads to the other, which leads to the next one, and then can be resolved at any point. This is a common technique used in jazz music. When comping through this phrase, we're going to be using the Freddie Green technique. Now this is four downstrokes to the bar, meaning that we're playing the chord on each beat, like this. go back to the E7 for two bars, then to an A minor for two bars on the fifth fret, 